okay, so here's one of these little things that we just totally take for granted, um, even though it's totally amazing. So here's us looking at the sky with our eyes. All right, and here's the moon, which is tiny, right? It's this little cool rock out in space, but it has some angular size. And um, that angular size, as we've learned, it can be found as a ratio of the diameter of that object, which we'll just call big D, over the distance. D, D, I shouldn't draw that. I shouldn't draw another dashed line. This is like getting so messy. There's too many dashed lines. I'll just draw. Um, oh, I know, I know, I know. I'll draw like this. So over the, over the distance. All right. Beep. Okay, and I'll use a lowercase d for that. So that angular size, we saw, we can write it as this equation, right? I, I know you're getting sick of this, but diameter over distance. What's amazing, okay, this is like so insanely amazing, is that the sun, which is just like so absolutely ginormous, if I were actually trying to draw it to scale, it would be like this big, right? It'd be like this massive, enormous thing but it would also be insanely far away. So I can't really draw it to scale, but I will draw it like way as far as I can and really big, this huge sun, right? Like a hundred earths across. Okay, you gotta get a sense of how enormous this thing is, all right? But even so, it just happens to be almost exactly the right distance away that it has the exact same angular size as our moon. There is absolutely no astronomical reason that that is supposed to happen. It is entirely a coincidence, but um, these two angles are the same. But it's so cool that they're the same because what that means is that we get these awesome eclipses where the moon perfectly blocks out the, um, the sun, right? We can get a total solar eclipse. I just have to show you because I'm talking about it. Total solar eclipse. Now, when I say, um, I mean, it's amazing. It's amazing that that can happen, that, that can happen. But now when I say like almost, and I, I use these little caveats, it's because sometimes the, um, sometimes the moon's just a tiny bit closer and you actually get these things called annular eclipses. So you can see they're just, it's just an unbelievable coincidence. And I'm just so glad that it's the case. But what, what it means is that the ratio this little ratio right here, diameter over distance, is like the exact same for the moon and the sun. D over uh, D. Okay. Because if they have the same angular size, and this is just a constant, that means that this ratio, diameter over distance, must be the same for the moon and the sun. It's just amazing especially when we just consider these things at scale. If I were actually trying to draw, whoa, 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 the moon and the sun at scale, it's like, there's the moon, okay? And I'm not even like exaggerating, like there's the sun, okay? Um, in fact, I'm under underselling it here. The sun is even bigger. So the fact that these things just scale proportionately and have the same angular size is something we totally take for granted, but is just an amazing, cool thing.